Peggy. Yes, <laughs> and Nicole Dyer, y'all. <laughs> I met my next guest last month when she requested the Kelly Oki song, Blow Your Mind by Dua Lipa. As soon as she shared why she chose this song, I knew I had to have her back. One, because she's funny, and also take a look. It blows my mind how many horrible first dates I've been on. Okay, so the first one, he told me we're going on a dinner date and we went through the Taco Bell drive through <laughs> Okay, the last one, he invited me on the first date to his pond and said we could go up to his lighthouse and make our own fireworks with like a little wink wink. Yeah, I know, girl, I know. I'm sorry. We're gonna try and hook you up. Okay. We gotta, you guys gotta get a hold of the dating app. <laughs> That lighthouse thing. Y'all say hello to Emily. Hey, Man, that, that lighthouse thing sounded like a Dateline special in the making. <laughs> you know, I never made it to the pond, so. Smart girl. Yeah, I know. And you didn't have to make it to Dateline because of it. Yeah. Correct. So tell us about some of your most recent dates. Are you ready for them again? I don't know if I you can handle I love that. hearing about okay. your dates. <laughs> um, so you guys saw the Taco Bell date. So that was like the really weird Fancy. one. Fancy. Um, but I think I can make it even weirder. Another first date, he comes up within the first five minutes, he goes like this and he's like, right here, Emily, right here. And I was like, what? And so I put my arm around him. We literally walked like this to the bar together. And I was like, this is awkward. Did this you go out is with Sherlock awkward. Holmes? Like why? No. <laughs> <laughs> then we get to the bar and it's time to pay for the drinks. I got one drink, and he was like, Emily, I'm really short on cash. Can you no. help me out? Yes. You got one drink? He couldn't do the no. one drink? I know, and I'm Bye. like, we're at Disney. Like, what? Like, you can treat me to something. Oh, and, God. Uh, make ears. I don't know. See, I know where he messed up. Please tell us, what are dudes doing wrong? He shouldn't have said, I'm short on cash. He should have said, I forgot my wallet. Oh, that's my God. <laughs> we would have snipped if, that out. You know what I'm saying? But no, but like, even if you don't have the cash, like, you make up something that she doesn't feel so bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Because he, he might be short on cash, which, which is okay, mm -hmm. right? It's, okay. I mean, it should be okay, it's right? okay. Because he might be short but on cash. But don't bring her to a bar. <laughs> Go somewhere right. free. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. See, guys are stupid. Guys are stupid. See, I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> So you just said it gets weirder? Yes. Wow. Oh, how? So really? then we're at the bar and he's like trying to awkwardly like kind of lean into the wall and I was just like, mm, and he sizzled me, did a little like I was on like fire. Oh my God. Like I was like bacon sizzling and I was like, what is going on? Is anyone seeing this? Like I just, I'm yeah, so sorry. I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. That's horrible. Okay. Yep. Okay. So yep. how do you usually meet them? How does um, that, yeah. I've been trying, so obviously online dating, right? Okay. My mom actually paid for me to get a Match.com membership. She, was, your mom is like, find someone. She was like, I will pay, and I tried it. It did not go well for me. Can I just ask about the Taco Bell man? Yeah, of course. So, like, what was wrong with that? <laughs> Very underrated. Yes. Well, here's the thing. Taco Bell's okay, y'all, but maybe on a first date, like, go somewhere where you get out of the car. Yes. And he got really excited about the tacos coming, too. <laughs> he be, like, I talking, think you yeah. You gotta go back out with him. I oh, do? <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you think you rely a little bit too much? Because I know on online dating, you see pictures yeah. and everything. Do you think you rely too much on looks first? I, I mean, with online dating, if anyone online dates here, um, it's a lot of first impressions, so it's just a couple of photos. So that's all we're looking at. And so I think yes to a degree, but then yeah. I'm also like very picky on who I swipe for. Yeah. And so a lot of left swipes, just a lot, a lot, a lot, of, lot left. of left swipes. No, not many Maybe right the swipes. lefts would have taken you Maybe. somewhere to sit down there with a white <laughs> tablecloth. I don't know. Uh, Water yeah, glasses. I don't, I don't know, and I'm not picking like, super meathead, like I'm not choosing them like super, I'm trying to find a Midwest Southern so maybe guy that yeah. lives out here. What's a perfect first date for you? Cause I got one in my mind. That's oh you do? Yeah. Okay, I, um, my, I would say the perfect one, I mean I love Disneyland, but that's a lot of money. So I don't know if that's a good idea on the first Disneyland date. Is Disneyland a, is so fun though. I on a first a, date? No. That's a, yeah, that's a. <laughs> ease me into a theme park. No, you know it's why like, it's that, a good first date? This is literally my first time meeting you. You want me to come out my pocket no. that much? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's a, a little walk? Much. No. And no, because what here's about why. What if we don't like each other? Because yes. you want, because even if you don't, you'll still have a good yeah. time. There's rides, the happiest sugar. Place. No. <laughs> when you don't like a person, everything is miserable. Yes. Even yes. the happiest place uh -huh. on earth. Uh -huh. <laughs> even the... <laughs> So we're gonna do something we've done before with success. 
On The Voice, we use blind auditions to judge the quality of the singing, you know, using just our ears. We don't get to see them, right? Okay. So we don't get to see them, and it really makes a big difference. So today we're doing blind dating, y'all, okay? <laughs> Backstage. Backstage, I have two great guys for Emily to meet. She's going to have to listen to them instead of look at them. But first, I need a little something from The Voice. Please, somebody, come on. It's my chair! <laughs> it's my very own chair from The Voice! <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back with Jason Derulo and Nicole Baya. And we're helping Emily who says she's unlucky in love and finds all the wrong prospects online. Well, today things are gonna change. We're trying a new approach with Emily, all right? She's borrowing my chair from The Voice to pick her next man. She'll have no idea what the guys look like because this chair forces you to listen. This is Blind Dating. All right, let's meet the guys. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Tim. Hi, Emily. Hello. Uh, I come from a small farm town called Elmont, Michigan, but I live out here in Los Angeles as an independent filmmaker. Awesome. Okay. Hi, Emily. I'm Nick. Uh, I'm from Miami, Florida. I speak uh, five languages, French, Portuguese, oh my and gosh. German. Slacker. <laughs> So here's how this is gonna go. Tim and Nick will take turns talking, just like in The Voice, if Emily hears something she likes, she'll hit the button. The chair will turn, and that will be the man she chooses. While she can hit the button at any time, it doesn't mean she should. <laughs> this, this works better with just a little patience. Let's get started. Tim and Nick, what is your idea of a perfect date? Well, my idea of a perfect date actually involves the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. <laughs> I think you get to know a lot about a person by their favorite character and also what rides they choose. Yes. So, uh, we would start off the day by walking down Main Street, maybe sharing a churro, some ice cream maybe, and then we would have a reservation for two at one of their five-star restaurants, and then finish off the evening with a beautiful fireworks show at Cinderella's Castle. All right, he knows what's happening there. All right, panel, what do you guys think? No, 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 that's too magical. The second date is what, in a dumpster? Like, <laughs> you, you can only go down from that. It's gonna sure. go down from I know, but I also felt like the answer was a little, like, let me give her what she wants. No, 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 mm -hmm. I will tell you this. I, I, I read things they were gonna say before they got here. He actually had that in his thing huh? before what? he heard. I, wow. He actually had okay. that. That was not because wow. he heard us talking. Yeah, thought, okay. You it. thought that too, I huh? I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, See? no, he... he glad we well, cleared that up. All right, so all right, Nick, what's job. your perfect date? Well, I would be taking you to the second happiest place on Earth, <laughs> Runyon Canyon. Uh, we'd go hiking, because uh, uh, I'm very adventurous. And uh, we go up to the top, right, get to know each other a little bit, see the sunset, watch the uh, LA lights, and I'll take you to my favorite Michelin star restaurant. All right. Damn. All right. Okay. But that's I got two, money. That's two dates in one. That's money. That's, that's a, spending a whole day together. What do you What do you think uh -huh. about hiking date. on the first date, I'm not guys? Going hiking, you can't get to know me while I'm huffing and puffing. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I'm like so in. I'm easy to place. I'm like that sounds fine. Yeah, you're like okay. okay. No. Yeah, you you know what though? You know what I like about it? If you like me sweaty and gross, mm. then you're in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man. I'm showing you the worst. <laughs> no, I, I like that one. I like I like that one. All right. All right. Well, you like working out. So yeah, 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 I do. I All do. right. Well, great job, um, guys. You haven't hit the button, Emily. Hey. Good. Yeah, you're okay. Okay, good. Let's ramp things up. <laughs> okay, you know I believe in the magic of song. And this is my voice here, so I just want to embarrass these men. Um, so I asked Tim and Nick to pin their very own love ballads. All right, guys, it's all on you. Emily, you hit the button if you feel it, but it. maybe listen to both songs. Okay. Okay, Emily, here we go. Put a little country in you for a little bit. Baby, don't be scared, cause I'm scared too. I know love has burned you a time or two. And all that I ask is for a single chance to show you how love really feels. Yeah. All right, all right. Tim, that was cute. That was really good. I like the country. I like the soul in it. But check this out. Uh, uh. So you're looking for love on Kelly show Love to be a Latino, you get to know But trust me when I say He dies, I see ya Learns the Spanish, I love the teacher Come on, Tim! 
I didn't really feel the heart in that one. I really didn't feel the heart in that one. It can be so blind, but with your hand in mine, I know everything will be just fine. And your back's turned to me, girl, it's harder to see. That beautiful smile I ain't seen in a while. <laughs> okay, I think I know what it was. It was Disneyland. It, I know. It was Disneyland. Yeah. All right, so Emily, what made you choose him over the other guy? I would say, obviously, the Disneyland got me. You really knew all those parts of the park, so mm. that's always encouraging. The churro, I like churros. Um, and the country twang, I could sense a Midwest Southern feel. Yeah. But that's why. All right, all right. Well, big thanks to Nick. We wish you the best. Thank you. Congrats to Emily and Tim.